Get off. No. no. Ow. Get out of here. Ow. Get out of here. I apologize. Um, good morning, Alfredo. My name's Jonah, and uh, today's Wednesday, February 28th, and please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention juniors or seniors, Hach Experience Day is Friday, April 6th. This is a great opportunity to do the following. Discover over 100 plus programs. Take part in Hach chats with faculty. Participate in a mock classroom situation. Learn about taking classes while in high school. Tour the campus with student ambassadors. Have lunch on us. First come, first serve. Please stop by the guidance office and pick up a permission slip. The deadline is Friday, March 23rd. Attention seniors. The effort of national bank scholarships, including the Hipshman Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Naviance Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. This is a reminder to all students in grades 9 and 10 to log in to your community portal to complete course requests for next year. Be sure to do all researching in course options, checking out the syllabus for each course you are interested in, as well as considering pathway elective opportunities for next year. The course selection portal for sophomores closes at midnight on Thursday, March 1st. Again, for current 10th graders, you must complete course requests through the community portal by midnight on Thursday. Don't delay. Your mom's a woman. Select courses for next year today. In sports resorts. In sports resorts. In sports resorts. Sports resorts. The North Koreans have indicated that they're willing and in indicated. How do you say that? Indicated that they are willing to hold direct talks with the United States in order to discuss policies that might decrease tensions in the Korean Peninsula and East Asia in general. This was revealed to South Korean President Moon Jae in during a meeting that took place between the President and a delegation of South Koreans that met during the closing ceremonies of the Winter Olympics being held in Pyeongchang. These events signify that the Olympic Games might actually be what is needed the to thaw relations between North Korea and the world, an initial optimistic perspective that was quickly dismissed by internationals, international regions naysayers. On this day in 1953, scientists James Watson and Frank Francis Crick announced that they have discovered the double helix structure DNA. While DNA was originally discovered in 1869, it is crucial, its crucial importance in genetics was in, wasn't discovered until 1943. Ten years after the two had determined the double helix, helix form, it turns out that much of their research could be traced back to a scientist named Rouse Roslin Franklin. She was working on discovering the structure of DNA at the same time as Watson and Crick, and she had taken x-ray photos that her partner ended up showing to the two scientists. Franklin was much closer to discovering the structure of DNA than Watson and Crick, but it's only today that she's recognized for the fact. Now over to that good looking man, Mr. Myers and his friend, Mr. Myers with the lunch. Well, hey, beautiful. How are you doing? Would you like to read the lunch? Ah, that's awesome, because I do too. Today for lunch, we have chicken nuggets with a whole grain roll and margarine, buffalo chicken flatbread, turkey burger and cheese with a whole grain roll, a cheesesteak and roll, an Italian hoagie, taco salad, French fries, red pepper strips and dip, fresh broccoli and dip, fresh fruit or slushy, and tomato soup. You said it the best, man. What up, ETH gang? 
Attention all athletes that signed up for spring sports. All physicals and research forms are due to the athletic office ASAP. Uh, there will be a girls lacrosse mandatory parent, pa parent player meeting today, Wednesday, February 28th. Attention any boy who signed up for lacrosse this spring. There will be a mandatory team meeting on Thursday, March 1st at 5.30 p.m. in Coach O'Donnell's room. Please meet at the back of the school by the boys' locker room at 5.20. If you have any questions, contact Coach O'Donnell. Now back to the main desk. Not only do we have Minithon coming up this week, but next week we have our very first student faculty basketball game. Thursday, March 8th is the date. Do you want to see your favorite, favorite faculty, such as Dr. Galen, Senior Cirillo, and middle school basketball coaches, Mr. Edmonston and Mr. Smith, attempt to beat the high-flying, bucket-scoring senior basketball players? I know I sure do. Join me and many of your friends at the Minithon student faculty basketball game on Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. to watch the showdown of all time. It is only $5, and all donations go to our mini-thon total. <laughs> Help us to beat childhood cancer with your attendance at this incredibly fun event. Again, that's next Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. Bring your friends and families. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges universities and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission slip from Packard from School G. Space is limited, so don't delay. Join us in fighting to beat childhood cancer by participating in this week's Spirit Week. Show off your style by dressing up according to each day's theme. Today, white out. Thursday, wear Hawaiian for honesty. Friday, mini thon shirts to show strength. Each day that you participate will be a great way to show your support for this cause. Don't forget, after the senior high school, mini thon will be held on March 3rd. It's not too late to register. We hope to see you there. Have a, have a warmy Wednesday, everybody. Your mom's a woman. <laughs>